Hi, this is Jacob Nicholson with InMotion Hosting, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily take a WordPress site currently hosted on WordPress.com and easily move that into a self-hosted WordPress site that you might have set up on InMotion Hosting or another web host. Now, the first step in the process is simply going to your WordPress.com site, followed by a forward slash WP hyphen admin to access the admin dashboard. Then just sign in with your uh, WordPress.com username and password, and then simply come down here, hover over Tools, and click on Export. And then on the Export screen, click on Export again so we can create an XML file containing our information that we want to export. On the export page here, you can see we have all content selected. That's typically what you're going to want to use. Um, but if for some reason you did just want to you know, export certain posts from particular authors or a date range or even a status, you have that option um, as well as pages and feedback. But for this example, we're going to leave it on all content and then just download that export file. It's really as simple as that. Now we can just go over to our self-hosted WordPress site, which if you don't have this already, you can basically easily just install WordPress from Softaculous or just do a manual WordPress installation till you're at this point where you just have the basic WordPress site with the Hello World post. Then you simply, again, go to forward slash WP admin on your WordPress URL so you can get to the admin dashboard and then just type in uh, your username and password for this WordPress site. Now it's a very similar process, but we're just going to go hover over tools and click on import instead this time. And then there's a bunch of options here where we can import from, but since we export it from a WordPress site, we're just going to import from WordPress as well. Now if this is your first time running an import, you'll have this WordPress importer plugin pop up. That's normal. And you can just click on install now to go ahead and let that set up. After that's done being successfully installed, just click on activate plugin and run importer to actually activate the plugin and then start to use it. Now here you can simply click on the choose file button and then select the uh, WordPress file that we just exported. Here you can see it basically just use my wordpress.com URL followed by the date that I exported that uh, site on. And then we can just click on open to open it. Once that file is actually, uh, actually selected, just go ahead and click on Upload File and Import to actually begin the upload process. Now, here's a little bit of a tricky part, but basically when you get to this Assign Authors page, you can see here it's indicating that we have an import author of Jacob IMH, which is this user that I have set up on WordPress.com. However, on this self-hosted WordPress site, just at example.com forward slash WordPress, you can see I'm just using the username Jacob. So I have two options. If I wanted to, I could create a new user such as, you know, WordPress com user or something that you can keep track of that, you know, you imported this content basically from that existing site. But in this case, because we're just using it on a brand new WordPress installation, I'm just going to go ahead and assign those posts to my existing author of Jacob. Now, another important thing to note under this import attachments, you are going to want to select download and import file attachments if you did have any images or any kind of attachments in your pages or posts so that those also make it over to your self-hosted WordPress site. And then just go ahead and click on submit. And there, that's pretty much it. As you can see, all done, have fun. Now it does uh, give you a little note here to remember to update the passwords and roles of imported users. That's not really going to matter here because um, again, we basically attributed all of their posts to this user that already exists. So um, we're not gonna, you know, we can come here to users. We, we only have the one user. But had you created a new user or didn't attribute the post anywhere, you might want to worry about, you know, changing those uh, variables or the, the passwords and everything. And now we can basically see if we go to, you know, example.com slash WordPress, there's the hello world post from me just installing this fresh WordPress install. But you can also see here's my three previous posts coming from the WordPress.com site. There's the image already pulled up. 
And you can see here I also have a WordPress.com page. So this is a page that got imported from the WordPress.com site. Now you might notice that it looks a little bit different um, from just our WordPress.com site. Um, here you know we see we just have an about page and then the WordPress.com page. And here we have about sample page and WordPress.com page. That's because this sample page along with if we just go back to the main site, um, this uh, right here, this hello world post, those are just coming along with a default WordPress self-hosted installation. If you wanted to, we can go back to the WordPress dashboard and for instance, go to posts and then you know simply delete or move to trash that hello world post. And then we can do the same thing for that um, sample page uh, page itself if we didn't want to see them on our self-hosted WordPress site. And that's basically all there is to it. You now have um, all of your pages and posts easily migrated over to a WordPress self-hosted installation. Now, the only thing you do want to keep note of is had you on the WordPress.com site had a more complex theme set up or possibly any widgets or plugins or anything like that set up, that is not going to be exported to the self-hosted WordPress site. So after you have things migrated over like this, you are going to, you know, just want to do the normal things of going in and, you know, searching for plugins or messing with your widgets, any of that normal kind of stuff. But for the purpose of this tutorial, that's it. You do now have your WordPress.com site that was set up migrated over to just a self-hosted WordPress site and now you can get in there and really you know tweak things and, and do a lot of stuff that you can't really do on a WordPress.com hosted site. Hope that was uh, very helpful to you and if you do have any questions feel free to comment either on this video or the accompanying article. As always this is Jacob Nicholson with Emotion Hosting and thanks a lot for watching.